Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat Kadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this is a video I came across on ROT News. It's entitled, World Observes UFO Day. Months after Pentagon confirmed sightings. Okay, so now Edom wants to observe, he wants to make a day to observe UFOs. And I believe this came out uh, July the 2nd. <clears throat> July the 2nd. And um, as you're going to see in this video, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but you're going to see that, you know, they talk about these UFOs as if they're friendly. All right. And first off, I must say that UFOs, which the word UFO stands for unidentified flying objects. Now here, all right, us who are a part of the whole four elect and that believes in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who are Israelites, all right, you know, starting um, with our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone, we understand who these UFOs are, okay? We call them IFOs, which stands for Identifying Flying Objects, because we identify them. We identify them in the scriptures. All right. Now, the angels of the Lord is those who ride in these vehicles, and they've been here from the very beginning. And it's nothing new. Just because the Pentagon want to confirm the sightings to be uh, real, does it, does it make it cool to worship them? All right, because there's a lot of in this day, in this age today, there are more stupid people out here than it ever been on a planet, man. You know, this 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 surf is really ran in the vibration of wickedness through Esau, you know. So anyway, it says world observe UFO day months after Pentagon confirmed sightings. All right, so let's play a little bit. Right, for space enthusiasts, July 2nd is a big day. It is World UFO Day. And he said July 2nd is a big day. It is World UFO Day. And since the Pentagon just a few months ago confirming the validity of the Navy's UFO footage captured a few years prior, reports of UFOs have shot up 112% according to the National UFO Reporting Center. Now, the sightings of these UFOs have increased. And I wonder why. All right? We know why. Because the Lord's prophecies are being fulfilled in this earth. All right? The stage is being set for Yahweh Shah to return. Okay, so yeah, there's going to be more sightings of the angels. And matter of fact, before I let this video play play on, I want to get a quick precept here. And this is in, I have Isaiah 66. Uh, let's go to Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach in the Apocrypha. And I believe it's chapter 39. And I think 16. Let me see here. So I can. Okay, 27. Now, it says Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and 27. All these things are for good to the godly. So to the sinners, they are turned into evil. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of their in the time of destruction. They pour out their their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. All right. So these uh, what you call UFOs are nothing more than the Lord's angels. OK. And these are spirits. And you better believe that these are spirits. All right. That are created for vengeance. Because as I, you know, I break, get into these precepts I have, you want to see that. All right, if you don't know, now you know, okay, you should know that the Lord's angels play a big part in destroying Babylon the Great, okay? It says, there be spirits that are created in vengeance, for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In a time of destruction, 
they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So when these angels get down, all right, they appease Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. And you better believe that, you know, the scriptures speak on how um, the Lord is going to destroy Babylon with fire. All right, it's going to be cast into what it called the lake of fire, and that's North America. All right, it says fire and hell and famine. All right, the angels are there to stop you from getting your foods. The angels are sent forth to play on the minds of the heathens. All right, so that the man, all right, the Lord's creatures can do according to the Most High's will. All right, so these angels play a big part in the destruction of of you Edomites, bringing you into captivity, and you heathens, all right, death and destruction to the two-thirds of the Lord's people, man, that the Lord said himself he's going to destroy, so it says, fire and hell and famine and distress, uh, death, all these were created for vengeance, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction, so these angels that you call UFOs, all right, they're going to bring a sword punishing the wicked to destruction. All right. <clears throat> so <clears throat> let's play a little bit more. And while skeptics still remain, there is one astronaut who says, quote, there are no two ways about it when asked about their existence. So we will talk with another astronaut about this aerial phenomenon, both revered and reviled by many across the planet. Planet, we'll, we'll turn to former ISS commander and NASA astronaut and founder of One Orbit, Dr. Leroy Chow. Leroy, always good to have you, especially on this day. UFO sightings seem to have more than doubled in the last year, especially since the Pentagon confirmed that Navy footage. Why do you suppose so many people are so fascinated by the idea of aliens? Well, I think it's human nature to wonder if there, are other, if there is other intelligent life out there. And, of course, with the Navy admitting that uh, they... they this footage is real, this uh, footage from these fighter jets of uh, some kind of aerial vehicles. Now, as we talked about a few months ago, I firmly believe these are some kind of secret military program that the Navy didn't know about. And, uh, you know, that's what it's always turned out to be in the past when things like this happen. Uh, but people are fascinated with the idea of uh, life elsewhere in the universe. Yeah. Yeah, Edomites are fascinated. All right. He said with aliens out there in the universe. All right, they're not aliens, all right? They're really not foreign even to this this earth, okay? And that, that's why Esau got to go. And this is why there being more sightings because Esau is on his way out, all right? You know, and you can't really take word of these fake, fake baloney astronauts because there's plenty of videos out there where, where, um, where these astronauts, all right, have been... Um, exposed and staging um space you know they have jacuzzis they have the green screen they've been caught with the strings attached to them while they supposed to be uh in gravity you know gliding across the screen you know esau is a devil all right and he's being exposed man all right now this is zechariah the fifth chapter uh it's, it says zechariah five and one then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breathing thereof is 10 cubits. So what Zechariah is actually seeing is a chariot. All right. And he described the length of it. Now it says verse three. Then said he unto me, this is the curse of that go forth over the face of the whole earth. So while they're fascinated about UFOs, all right, they really should be terrified. Okay, these elites are terrified when they see these uh, the Lord's angels riding in their chariots across the heavens. The scriptures say, verse 3, Then say he unto me, This is the curse 
that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off, as on this side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off, as on that side according to it. He says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. All right, so, A, the Most High set up these chariots, he set up these angels to ride in these chariots to be a curse that goeth forth the face of the whole earth unto the wicked. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off. For every one that sweareth shall be cut off. Okay. It says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, which is uh, Yahweh of armies, because these uh, what you call UFOs. Are a part of the Lord's army. Is a part of his air force. You see. It says. I will bring it forth. And the Lord most high. Is, and you heard the lady say. There's more and more sightings. So the, the Lord is bringing forth more often. Okay. More than normally. He would before. He, he said. I will bring it forth. Say of the Lord of hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief. Who's that thief? That's Esau. Who been captive? The Israelites. Okay. It says into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. That's clearly talking against you Edomites, man. It's not uh, the Pope. It's not the Pope supposed to be uh, the son of God, the closest man to God, and that he talks with God and everyone worships him when really he's nothing but a damn devil. Okay. That's blasphemy, man. That's blasphemy. It says, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. All right. Saying that God blessed America. Okay. And you got you guys still 2020, 2020, you worshiping sweet Jesus. It says, it, sh it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. And hey, it says, it shall remain in the midst of his house. Have not these chariots been here in the midst of this house for forever? Just because the uh, Pentagon, uh, what was it? I think it was this year or was it last year? They just established, or it was this year. They um, just announced that the UFOs are actually real, which we've been through that. There have been plenty of sightings of these chariots here in this house, Okay. In this house, all through the world, man. Because why? Esau is ruling. So the Lord had brought forth his curse to be a curse unto you Edomites, man. To let you know that, look, you're not above the Heavenly Father. You're not above his son, Yahweh Shai. You know, so really what's happening is that the Lord is allowing these Edomites to set the stage up for Yahweh Shai to return. All right? Because they are the wicked, the sons of the wicked. So it says, it shall remain in the midst of his house, and it did, and it still is, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, lift up now thou eyes and see what is that, see what is this that goeth forth. And I said, what is it? And he said, it is an ephi that goeth forth. He said, moreover, this is their resemblance through all the earth. earth. And that's why when we see um, we see these chariots, they sort of look alike. They got that neon color, you know, shapes, the way, the way that they uh, move. They move the same way, you know, they shoot off like like a, uh, you know, like, like a rocket. You know, they 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 take up. You know, they go faster than the speed of light, you know. So when we see them, we understand who they are. We identify what they are. All right. So be fascinated. Esau is a foolish and wicked man. Okay. And these heathens are just as foolish, man. You know. Uh, okay. Let me get a quick scripture real quick. And I'll leave that link to the video in the um, description bar. Let's get this because I ain't playing that video no more. Um, Isaiah 66. 
15. Okay. It says, for behold. Matter of fact, before I get that, I definitely want to get Daniel's, Daniel 7, and I wrap it up with that. This is Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right. So the chariots are a part of the destruction of Babylon the Great. All right. So you're being fascinated with what's that's going. They're being fascinated with their own enemy that's going to kill them. Okay. For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Those are the angels. Those are what you call UFOs. And it says to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord got a great sacrifice for Idumia. Okay. And he has a great rebuke upon you, you heathens. You know, upon two thirds of his own people. All right. It says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right. So from here, let me get Daniel 7. I know I highlighted it. Yeah, start at 9. Now, this is Daniel's chapter 7 and 9. I beheld to the thrones which were cast down and the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow and his hair of his head like the pure wool his throne was like the fiery flame and his wills as burning fire all right so this is the heavenly father all right which is another title okay because his name is Yahweh, but he has titles okay this title here is ancient of days who is the ancient of days that's the most high it says who garment was white as snow and his hairs of his head like the pure wool. Just as another depiction and scripture that describes our heavenly father look. Okay. And it says his head like the pure wool. Meaning his head, his hairs. Okay. His beard were like wool. Who that resembles? The so-called Negro. Okay. It says his throne was like the fiery flame. And his wills as a burning fire. Alright. Because he was what? Around chariots, man. Okay. Most High has a glorious, uh, beautiful, uh, uh, you know, I can't even put in words, you know, of, of uh, his appearance, man. All right. So it's describing it in the scriptures here. Now it says a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands, thousands, thousands ministered unto him. And ten thousands times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set and the books were open. So you can see that all these angels, thousands, thousands ministered unto him. And ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. So that means that you Edomites don't have a chance, man. You don't have a chance. All right. There's more. It's more of it's more of us than it is them. It's more of the Lord than it is you Edomites. And your nations put together. It, the Most High has more of him and his angels than, than NATO and the EEU, the EEC, the uh, European Economic Community. All right. Which make up the beast. That's why the scriptures say who was able to make war with him. All right. Who's able to make war with the beast? Yahweh Shai coming back with the mighty angels. All right. It says, verse 11, I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spec, I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. All right. And that's the destruction, the destruction of you Edomites, man. All right. Especially here in America. All right. Going into what? That lake of fire. Now it says, as concerning the rest of the beasts, right? Because you have uh, members of the beast, you know, the, the NATO, the uh, EEC, like I said, the European Economic Community, all right? All these nations banning as one that make up the beast. It says, as concerning the rest of the beasts, 
they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season in time. All right, because they're not going to have power. All right, you other nations, you're going to go into slavery, just as well as the, the uh, international bankers, these Rothschilds. You're going to be the first ones going into slavery, man. All right. It says, I saw in the night vision and behold, like one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven. What is the clouds? The chariots. All right. The so-called UFOs. I came to the ancient of days and it came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations and languages should serve him. Have domi his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. All right. So you eat of kingdom is over. OK, because this is Daniel in his vision describing what he saw, which is going to come to pass, which is a prophecy. OK, that's yet to come to pass. All right. Yahweh Shai meet Yahweh Shai going. Uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. Uh, meeting up with the Most High and the Most High giving Yahweh Shai his dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, okay, nations and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away in his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. So it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's kingdom that's not going to be destroyed, which is our kingdom. OK, starting with the old four elect. All right. The Israelites, our kingdom is with Yahweh Shai. It says, I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body and the vision of my head troubled me. All right. And this is toward the end of Daniel's vision. OK, so I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, I wanted to just, uh, you know, touch on this with uh, this video that I saw on RT. Which the title of it is World Observes UFO Day. Months after Pentagon confirmed sighting. So yeah, it was this year that they announced that the so-called UFOs are real. Alright, they're IFOs. Identifying flying objects because we identify them in the scriptures. They've been here from the very beginning with the Most High. Which we read in Daniel 7, the Ancient of Days. Which is another title uh, of the Lord, of the Heavenly Father. Alright. And the Son of Man is Yahweh Shai. So we want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, because his Lord's prophecies are being fulfilled. All right, we're getting closer and closer to our salvation. All right, while Esau is getting closer and closer to his destruction. You know, and everything that's going to happen and everything that's going down and the way that the Esau is doing it. All right, is ultimately setting up the day for Yahweh Shai to come. All right. It's setting up for Yahweh Shai to come. All right. So, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakak Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.